Well, let's take a look at the backyard. It's grown quite a bit since the beginning of our very, very early spring. And the daffodils look great. And the muscari look great. They're real beautiful, little, little purple flowers. I've extended the garden in some places, and I've added some walkways to a little storage area back there. And here you can see flamingos and daffodils, but strangely, not a lot of tulips. For some reason, this year, I got all kinds of leaves, where usually I had big bunches of flowers, but not this year. In fact, there it is. All leaves, no flowers. Those were all yellow and red and orange and and they've been growing great for years, but this year, all they made was leaves. There's my rosemary, my pine from the Mediterranean. I know the light is not so good. There it is. The light is not so good for that right now. There's a few yellow tulips and other things, and I've been planting a little bit here and there. But we've been having some cold nights, so I've been bringing things in. You can see my what's growing along the privacy fence and again more tulip leaves but no tulips not very many and usually those little blue flowers they're and just completely covered with blue but because we had heat they bloomed on the day it was really hot and they kind of faded really fast. But they'll come back next year, no problem. We got some red tulips back here, very nice. You can see the sun is shining. Some of these plants I brought in a couple nights and then take them out when it's warm enough. My vegetable plot is ready and waiting. There is lettuce, onions, and uh, lettuce and onions and radishes planted right now. Later on, they'll add tomatoes and squash and some cucumbers. And there's some volunteers there, but they won't be able to stay. I know that they're either spaghetti squash or butternut squash, and there's just not enough room back there for those way big trailing vines. But there they are right for now. I'm going to do a lot of container gardening. I'm going to be planting uh, small varieties of cucumber, squash, and beans uh, in these pots. And I may even plant some corn. I don't know yet where the corn's going to go. It might go here. We'll see. This is my red twig dogwood that I grew from a stick. Yep, it was a stick in an arrangement that had roots, so I planted it, and there it is. It has the most beautiful leaves in the fall. Bright orange, red, scarlet, yellow. Beautiful. The currant bush is currently blooming, and they'll provide tons of wonderful red currants for us later, and I will probably make jelly again. There's our garden guardian, the owl, Mr. Owl. <laughs> okay, so that's what's going on here for now. There's a lot growing, and it's way too early, way too early for all this. But anyway, it's still very nice, and greetings from Chicago.